Los Altos Dreamers is a book that addresses the experiences of the young adults originally from Mexico, who have either been deported or decide voluntarily to go back. John Jay College have a panel discussion in an attempt to bring attention to the book and the issue it addresses. Those youth living in Mexico, for example, are trying to also understand the language, school system, and culture. My name is Jill Anderson. Yo soy Mitzolis. Los Otros Dreamers are young people who were brought to the United States with their parents at a young age and grew up there without documents. They've since returned to Mexico, whether because of deportation or because they made the difficult decision to return. One of the authors, Neen Solis, is a young Mexican woman who was frustrated with the fact that she was undocumented in the U.S. a couple of years ago. Solis decided to return to Mexico and examine how young adults who had either been deported or decided to leave willingly after finding out the barriers they would face as undocumented youth. Many of the returning migrants had only known the U.S. as their home. Now they are returning to their parents' country and navigating a new culture, language, and education system. Testimonies here are not only of the perfect students, I mean, inside a great CPA hasn't gotten in trouble with the law. There are testimonies here of people who have gotten in trouble with the law, who did, who weren't the perfect students. And yeah, it's, it, we're trying to redefine that definition of what, what a dreamer is. And also, like, what our idea of success is and has been. Because a lot of, for a lot of people going to school, getting that bachelor's degree may not be successful. You know, for a lot of them, it could be opening up your own business and being perfectly great at it and going through with it. One girl especially who would um, return to Mexico two weeks before they signed it, that was just heartbreaking because she could have really benefited from it and now she was basically stuck in Guerrero because she couldn't, she didn't have a job, she didn't have money, she, her studies couldn't be revalidated, she was working on that. But, you know, she left because she was so frustrated at the fact that she wasn't really getting anywhere here. And then she goes back and two weeks later, that just comes into effect. And it was, she's still trying to make her way to the US because all of her family's here. She's the only one down there, so. I mean, for her, I would have really, it would have been great for her to have benefited from it. I would have liked to have more of the of the dreamers in the panel. And so I would like for you to maybe tell us a little bit how obviously you shared your experience going to get a visa and that you were approved and now came to see your mom, but can you tell us about some of the other dreamers who have tried to get visas to come back and visit families and 20 or lifetime bars, uh, and they can't apply for a visa. The government, the U.S. government will just turn them down at the embassy. 